I'm here at the Southern Accent booth ready to smash this car. I've paid my tickets and I'm ready to let out some aggression of, for all my classes I'm taking. Some returned SMs, even here in the islands, wore jewelry and cultural dress. If you're feeling stressed this semester, some tips that we have right here in the studio can help you. Making sure to eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables will help keep you healthy in these next two weeks. The gifts you see here are leftovers that the Social Work Club will continue to pass out next week. Like that, make sure that's nice and tight. And then I'm A graduate assistant makes sure that this climber is secure before his ascent up the wall. Students in Randy Craven's Southern Connections course had an opportunity to experience new challenges at the Outdoor Center. Students put on safety equipment such as climbing helmets yeah. cool. and harnesses before tackling the 60-foot wall. Today, students wore equipment like this to climb elements like this at the Southern Challenge course. As climbers hesitated and struggled up the wall, their fellow classmates encouraged them from below. Students like the challenge of being outside their comfort zone. It's good to step out of your comfort zone. It's good to try new things. And even though you might hate heights, it's still important to push yourself to the extreme to make yourself better, a little bit better each day. Uh, like the wall in particular is a good chance to you know, push yourself and uh, strive to do the best you can. The young artists also played games such as a group version of rock, paper, scissors, throwing stuffed animals around a circle, and using their creative abilities to build inspirational pieces out of toy blocks. At the end of the day, students learn important leadership skills, skills they will carry with them long after Southern. For SAU News, I'm Emily Lines. <laughs> you got it, dude. Here you go. Huh? Small Grant. Daniel. Got birdie for you. Beaver Grant. Oh, oh and there's a bomb right there. Yeah. Yeah, good job, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Social work club members became Santa's elves here at a Chattanooga mobile home park, Acres of Shade. The group of about 40 people loaded presents into trucks and cars to share with needy families. The Christmas surprise was met by eager children and grateful parents. All the kids and the parents just seem so, so grateful and so happy that we are here and um, we're able to just help them with something that they otherwise wouldn't have. The Christmas joy will continue for this community. The gifts you see here are leftovers that the Social Work Club will continue to pass out next week. Junior social work major Mario Dean sums up the mission of the season. It feels like you're really the hands and feet of Jesus, which is our mission, so <laughs> it's really good. They reach and greet these parents and these kids. Students blessed the gifts they were handing out and found that they also received a blessing. Yes, I am. This is great. For SAU News, I'm Emily Lines.